guys, it's another Friday's favorites, and I have in front of me our next product we're going to be reviewing. So let me just pull up our little rubric here on what questions we're going to be asking, and we can get started on this product review. But just as it's rolling, because connection is pretty bad right now, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this on time, so hopefully you guys do get it. But just real quick, if you don't know Hydra Charge by Cage Muscle, it was created by Chris Gethin. And if you don't know Chris Gethin, well, you aren't a fucking bodybuilder. <laughs> um, no, I, I say that jokingly because Chris Gethin is the man. And ever since I was in high school, I followed this dude. And he doesn't have too big of a following, so I'm not going to be surprised if some of you don't know him. But Chris Gethin knows his shit. He doesn't even have a degree. But does that mean you shouldn't listen to him just because he doesn't have a piece of paper? No, that piece of paper is great. Don't get me wrong. A bachelor degree, a master's degree, and a PhD, that all takes extreme dedication and time. I myself am trying to get a bachelor's degree. And I got about three more semesters left. But the point here is that Everything he talks about is through experience, and that just says enough, man. Like, he's been at it for years, and before he even launched his brand, he tried all his supplements, because it all has natural ingredients. That's the thing about his brand. That's what he pushes. He doesn't want to have any of these additives that are nonsense. And before he launched it, he actually tested everything on himself for two years before even launching Internet's not working. Let me just use my phone. I don't know why I didn't try that. But anyways, guys, Chris Gethin knows his shit. And what's funny, actually, is uh, Shen actually pointed out. I never knew this, and I've been following this dude forever. But his last name, Gethin, if you look at it, it says Get Thin. You know, and he's the transformation king. That's fucking sick. Um... Here we go, pulling up the old video just so I can pull up the rubric because I don't have my spiral. But all right, the questions, you think I'd remember them because I made them. Um, but let's get started. So um, I don't have pre-caged, in cage, or re-caged with me by chance, but the main product review is going to be on a Hydra Charge. So bear in mind that if you guys want me to do his pre-in and re let us know because we have it as well. It's just not in front of us. Um, I don't see the point in doing so because you could easily watch his videos on that and his spiels and mainly those, the pre, in, and re, they, they all have BCAAs. So that's why he's pushing for it because you need those aminos before, during, and after. Like you want that protein synthesis and you want to keep your energy up you know, it's not like you're going to be eating in the gym. And if you are, then it better be something high in uh, glucose or something. I don't know. But let's let's get this. So was the product affordable? Um, wow. Internet's not working. I, I would have pulled it up. But if I remember correctly, it was around between the range of 8 to $13. Or maybe I'm lowballing. I don't even know because I bought this in a stack. And the stack came out to be 130 and it came with hydrocharge, citrulline, BCAAs, powder form, unflavored, glutamine, um, then the pre, in, and re, and that came out to be like 150 a little over with shipping. So any average college student who's not working, that's not, when you say is it affordable, that's, because this is who I'm in, intended for, is college students or anyone on a budget, because Bodybuilding is an expensive sport, and if you're going to get into it, you're going to need money. So the whole point of product affordability is important, you know? So um, that was about half my paycheck. I work in catering, so if I work a Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday one week, and Friday, Saturday the next week, that's my two-week pay period, I get paid around 400 something dollars. Um so 150 was easy for me because I'm only working four days in two weeks getting paid 400 a little over sometimes depending on service charge 
And, you know, when it comes to groceries, me and Shannon are living with my parents. So we're just lucky that they get to buy all the potatoes, the meats, and, you know, they support us. So it's, it's great that I have family that's going to support me in my bodybuilding journey, and I love it. And the fact that they're also supporting me through college, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm going to say that. But let's get to the next question. Quality of life, so pretty much uh, how long it's going to last us. Durability, that's for another product. So quality of life, 60 servings, so two months. If you're going to buy this every two months, go ahead. I myself don't um, take this every single day, so it'll last me a little over two months. Um, and the reason being is I stay hydrated with... It, don't get me wrong. It's important to stay hydrated with your hydro charged. Um, but drinking a gallon of water will suffice, especially if you're trying to budget. But if you're like Chris Gethin and can afford it or he's the owner, one scoop a day is great. You stay hydrated and moving on to benefits, you stay hydrated and you feel it. Trust me, guys. I felt it a little over two weeks of just constantly taking it. The first time I tried it, I put it in a huge jug, a huge gallon of water to force me to drink it all. But I didn't like doing that. So instead, I reverted to just putting it in my, my shaker bottle. And it's just, it's phenomenal how, how you f actually feel it, you know. And that's why it's a Friday's favorite. Shoot. Um, but anyway, I put it personally, like I said, shaker bottle. And then I put a scoop of BCAAs and a scoop of glutamine with it. And that's my, usually like a post-workout, a little bit, like immediately, like after, like if you're not taking recage, then you would immediately do that because BCAAs after is essential. Um, taste, so it says fruit punch, but I think it tastes like bubble gum. And Chris Gethin even admitted in one of his videos that as a bodybuilder, your taste buds are kind of all fucked up from eating regular food. So the taste doesn't really bother him. And anyone who's been eating bland foods, this taste shouldn't really bother you. I mean, it, it's bubble gum. Come on, guys. Um, size. Oh, let me get this scoop. Show you. It smells. It smells like bubble gum, too. It doesn't smell like fruit punch or anything. But here's this little scooper and compare my thumb it's pretty small half a thumb um the only problem i have with the container it is fucking it's hard hard to put your hand in so i'm nearly nearly toward the bottom and it's pretty hard to to put my hand in there so the last question was it worth it is it deemed friday's favorite and i'd say yeah i deem it a friday's favorite because the way I felt taking it is just, you feel better. You feel more hydrated. You're you're getting blood flow everywhere all throughout your body, especially if you put a scoop of citrulline in here. Shoot. And as a student, man, I'm going to tell you, you, you really got that mental focus with all of his products. And I'll stand by Cage Muscle Subs 100% of the time. Um, other than that, guys... If you can't afford it, don't stress. I'd stick with glutamine and BCAAs and then your your whey protein if you really need it. But even then, you don't need a whey protein. You could easily get all your protein from food. So essential BCAAs, a multivitamin, glutamine, and that'll do it if you're really on a budget. But if you want to try it, go get yourself one of these. You get at bodybuilding.com. I get all my supplements off of there because they're fucking awesome and give you free shirts every time you spend over 75 <laughs> excuse me but anyway that'll do it for this friday's favorites i didn't forget about you guys and i'm gonna keep trying to post these videos another note that our next video i'm hoping to explain what the book of genesis training series that series on our youtube channel i'm gonna explain the whole point of that and why it's the book of Genesis and why I'm going to be spending a lot of time on creating episodes for that series because the book of Genesis, well, I'm going to get to it in the next video. I'm not even going to explain it right now, 
But anyway, stay tuned for that, guys. And I have a, another high-volume back footage workout. But I don't want to post that yet because our last one was high-volume back. So just stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe, and like.